Hello everyone, this is going to be a very quick introduction into uh, my setup, setup in my car so because I did a, a tuning video and I just wanted to very quickly explain uh, what the setup is. So uh, I have a component set, uh, Hertz Milli Pro, which is, sorry, one of them is in the door, the mid base, the other one is in the kick, like that. it's not finished yet. I have the tweeters in the corners uh, stuck with double-sided tape just for fun because why not because I need to cut the pillars install them there and I have uh, five inch uh, SB Acoustic Satori drivers uh, in the dash corners so this is important because when you're gonna see the responses of them you will understand why I have a very big peak uh, in the lower end because it's kind of a low corner loaded so this is the front end. Now in the back, uh, single 12 inch Alpine Type X in a sealed enclosure. And these are my apps. So I have um, 1000 watts for the Alpine. And these two, this is Alpine Type X, uh, which does uh, four times 125, I think. And this is the older Type X, uh, four times 110 something like that so basically I have loads of power for it because you will see that I I had to cut a lot uh, from the responses uh, with the EQ and to bring them back up I needed some power so I have the power so this is my setup and let's have a look at the RTA video yesterday I had some time to sit in my car after uh, installing new dash speakers and I thought um, I'm gonna try to tune it just for fun it's not uh, everything is not finalized but um, it was fun I spent like uh, four or five hours just tuning all the speakers and I thought I'm gonna do a video about this so this is gonna be a um, RTA tuning session with my car and how I achieved uh, this um, target line so I always start with measuring uh, raw responses of my drivers so the tweeters I crossed them at one and a half K for protection and I just took the responses uh, so from this is a bit weird because um, as you can see the top end is not really there and this is I think this is because um, I was uh, holding the mic at 90 degrees angle and it wasn't pointing at the tweeter so that's why that's the the roll off and it was just an experiment for fun so I get it because the response was there at my uh, old tuning sessions so I know the tweeters are capable and they are on axis it's just the mic technique that I used uh, it gave me more consistent results everywhere else but it just had a roll off at the top end so I'm just gonna leave it for now and I'm gonna fix it later on so tweeters are like this they cross a one and a half K somewhere here uh, I have a lot of boost because the tweeters are in the very corners of uh, of the dash so it has a lot of boost here so let's take for example a uh, left tweeter uh, and I did a bit of different technique um, what I'm trying to do is uh, First, I tried to get the response uh, as flat as I need it to be as possible in the region I'm going to use it, and then I'm going to apply the crossover. So for me, it's easier to EQ flat and then uh, apply the crossover. So for example, if I have this flat here, uh, let's say from, uh, from 3K, and I'm going to apply a crossover at 6K, I know that that one octave below the crossover point is going to be is going to give me a perfect slope. So in this case, <clears throat> I try to cue it as flat as I could uh, down to 3k and I applied a crossover uh, that's the left one at 4.5k. I did have to boost a little bit here just to make the uh, slope nicer. So this is a left tweeter the right tweeter 
had a better response so it went up to 13k because it's uh, right right is going to be closer to me because i'm on the right driver side i'm in the k uk so that's why and um, after the eq i queued it flat i boosted some places uh cut in others And here, if for example, I have almost flat down to 2K, so I could potentially cross it at 4K and have a nice slope. To, it needs a little bit of work on it, but it's still fine. So after crossover, that's both of them. Then I have a tweeter pair. They sub summed up nicely. Then I went to the mid range. So mid range left. My mid-ranges are uh, 5 inches size and they're in the corners of the dash, so they play quite low. This is with no uh, crossovers at all, so if I EQ them very, very low, like if I choose the uh, target line at 40 dB, this is relative again because it's not calibrated. I could, they could potentially play from 50 up to 10k. But I didn't do that. I chose my target line about 50 dB and I EQ'd mid left, uh, EQ'd flat from about 80 up to 3k. Later on, I had to boost this as well because I needed to. I crossed the tweeters and mids at 4.5k, so I needed to push it a bit to be flat up to 5k so I pushed it a bit more so again I did this first I made it flat and then I applied crossovers so I crossed it over at 200 at the low end and four and a half k at the top end so this one I had to boost it later a bit so this is before that boost because then I, later on I realized that I need to boost it so th this this was my technique basically to eq the response flat one octave below the crossover point and one octave above the crossover point eq it flat and then apply the crossovers so this is the left one this is the right one very similar boost because of the speakers are in the da in the corners of the dash so it has like acoustical boost and less here that's the right one uh, after the eq again i had to boost uh everything after 1k i had to boost to pull it up and below 1k i had to pull it down so i choose like a middle line right and after the crossover like that and then mids together so here I have some issues, like here between one and a half and two point three k, and here at seven hundred hertz, I think it's gonna be probably um, phase issues. I didn't investigate it that much, but what I did, I uh, I EQ'd it later on, just for fun, because again, this is just for me to to try. It's not final so let me remove mid mid that's the mid pair uh, when they play together they sum up nicely and after that when I had them like this I uh, EQ them again just to flatten out a bit and it became much more flatter just like that so this is the mid-range and tweeter Playing together then I went to the mid base drivers so that's the left mid base I'm gonna remove this for now which is in the door uh, I EQ'd it flat from 35 ish up to 400 I needed because uh, I crossed them at 200 as you remember so I needed to be flat up to 400 so this one, I had to boost it a bit later on again. And I crossed them down at 70. 
so I needed them to be flat until 35-ish. So I keep them flat, and then I apply the crossovers. And as you can see, when you apply the crossovers on flat response, then you have a very nice uh, slope, like almost ideal slope as it's supposed to be. So that's the last left one. Uh, the right one is a bit flatter, not flatter, but nicer response compared to the left because the right one is in the kick. So the left one is in the door and the right one is in the kick. So exactly the same, I uh, EQ the flat from 30 up to 400. And when it's flat, then I applied the crossovers. I had to pull the level a bit up just to make it even and when they play together they play together very very nice so i'm going to bring the mids and the tweets so tweeters mid range and mid bass just like that and when i have them playing together they sum up nicely and all is good so I had to tweak it a bit later on because this uh, rising response from 200 for me is rising response from almost three 400. So later on, I will need to pull it down a bit, but it's just, again, just for fun. So this is the base pair and this. So this is my front end and now the subwoofer. This is a single 12 in the back. It peaks at 43, 45, 44, somewhere here. I had to cut a lot of it down because I needed to integrate very, very nicely. So I EQ'd it and applied a crossover. So I had to cut more than 10 dB at this peak. But this is, again, this is mostly cabin gain. Some of it comes from the box, but it's mostly cabbing it because I wanted uh, the low end extension as much as I could. So now I have, after the EQ, I have it going down to 20 and I have a very nice slope. So uh, the mid base is crossed at 70. In order to achieve a good response from a subwoofer, I had to cross it at 12 dB link with Riley at 100 hertz because as you can see it's um it has a natural roll off it's not flat it has a natural roll off of about more than 20, 12 db per octave probably so i had to boost some and to cut some here to have this one so this is after the eq and when they play together this is subwoofer and mid bass. They sum up very nicely. And this is when they play together. So I had to pull uh, a little bit of mid bass down. And if I remove all of this, I will need to pull it a bit more because if, where is my mid bass? Bass pair, just here, this area. So this area has a little bit of bump because you can see it starts rising from 350 almost. So we'll need to pull it a bit down just to tweak it a bit. But this, so this is in one third octave. I can show you with no smoothing at all. Just for fun. It's no smoothing. So I have a bit of a thing is here, but it's totally fine. But here you can see there's no real um, cancellations or really big valleys or dips or whatever it's a very nice response even on one sixth uh, it looks very nice so i need to work on it a bit more like in this area between seven and eight hundred to pull this a bit down and to sort out the top end and this one uh was my old tune before this so i'm going to separate it just for better view so i had issues here I had issues uh, integrating the subwoofer into the mid bass because I was doing it literally blindly without uh, no timing, no phase, nothing. And my slopes were very, very uh, steep. 
on this one but on the new one since i have very shallow slopes shallow 24 db per octave like proper slopes because on the old tune i had like more like 48 db per octave on all the uh, drivers and it wasn't playing very nicely so the new tune integrates very very nicely in between the drivers and it's uh, the best that i made it so far so i'm very happy with this so uh how did i eq it i eq'd it with using um auto eq function on rew so i showed how to use this on one of my previous videos about how i eq my system and i was talking about the slopes and everything um in my video about slopes i think so if you want to check that out you can do that uh, i'm just gonna show you very quickly uh, mid tweet 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 pair there we go so i had to pull the subwoofer level a bit up just to match it but very nice slopes this was again eq'd later on but i'm very very happy with this tune it sounds much much better than you used to do before and uh yeah i just want to share my uh my new tune and how i did it and why i did it uh check out my previous videos if you want to know more how to eq and thanks for watching